Hey everyone, Loco Snake here. I just want to make an update on the last tutorial I did for the creation crystals. Unfortunately, it's not working for some people, so I'm going to redo it. So let's say if you've bought a, a used creation crystal from the store. As you can see, it will load up perfectly everything if it works. See the character's already created and the class is already selected too. Unfortunately, there is no way in the game to change the class whatsoever. However, if you own a, I think it's from the first game, this portal, for the PS3, it won't work on Xbox. If you have an Xbox portal, you can't do this method. But if you have a PS3 portal, what you can do is plug it in and use this program that I'm going to start showing you how to use. Alright, now you're going to switch over to your PC. You're going to unplug your portal from your PS3 into your PC. Uh, if you don't get the chime or whatever that it's connected, try switching ports. If that doesn't work, you might have to reset your drivers. Or in worst cases, it might be your portal. So you're going to click on the link in the description. This is the same link from last time. Uh, the only thing that made the tutorial less reliable is that I really didn't know how to use it. But now I have uh, used it plenty of times. So you're going to click on the link. It's going to take you to Mega. And you're going to hit this green download button. Nothing else. gonna take a second or two you're gonna hit on the corner as you can see I've downloaded this a couple times I've had a bunch of bloopers so you're gonna hit the folder right there go all the way on the bottom is the application in this case you're gonna have to extract it you can delete the zip file later from the downloads so you're gonna hit the bottom one and extract all you're gonna hit extract I'm going to go ahead and hit the folder again, all the way on the bottom again. Now this time it's going to say, well, for all, for all people, it's probably not going to say this, but for some it's going to say this. Just hit on more info and run anyways. So now you have the application running. To double check to make sure your portal's connected, you can hit portal and connect put your figure on there you go so what you're gonna do go to file up here in the corner hit save figure now you're gonna hit reset crystal go to portal then write Then you're going to go to read figure. And it should say no data. So now we got that out of the way. You can close the application. Maybe even go out of full screen. And you know what? Just to save more time, go ahead and take this. Put it on your desktop if you want to use it for later. But that's how you reset the crystal. If you want to do more, same process. And when you're done, just take out the portal, put it in your PlayStation 3. Now to prove to you that this worked, here's the same crystal. Put it right there. And bingo, you have a brand new crystal. Uh, as you can see, you can choose any battle class. It's all a reset now. Now I'm going to show you something pretty cool. As you see, final decision, blah blah blah. <laughs> You're gonna get all these long cutscenes. I'm not gonna customize it for right now. So, if you go into the gallery, if you've previously used this Skylander before you reset it, all of the pictures that have been taken, basically it's, what it's going to do, 
Apologies, apologies. <laughs> You're gonna go into here in the academy. This is taking a while. <laughs> Gonna go into the academy. All the way forward is all the gallery stuff. Now, if you've taken any pictures with the old before reset Skylander, they're still gonna be there. So you could use just a cheat to your advantage. I don't have it filled out right now, but yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a good day, everything. If you have any troubles, I will try to help you to my greatest advantage, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. See you guys.